All right, folks, sorry about that. We had a gentleman just go down and unplug the internet for some reason down there. And uh, if I'm being honest, I was a little upset about it. And so that shut the stream down. So apologies there, but we are back. And in the meantime, I'm sorry we missed two goals. So it's five to one now here for the Armada. And we're gonna go back down inside the Armada zone. One thing I did find out for sure, folks, running down there, I am very out of shape, sprinting down. But like I said, we are back, and uh, I know you missed two goals, but not a whole lot of time has gone by since. So thank you for your patience here. As I know you've had a hard time now, it's two links you've had to go through, but we're working diligently here as the Highlanders pressing, looking to get back into this game, and another shot from the left side is gonna be stopped. So back down in the Highlander zone, or sorry, the Armada zone, we've switched. That's how it works here for hockey folks. They switch ends at the intermissions. Now they're gonna fight for it here in their own zone. Now the Highlanders opportunity, toe drag there and wasn't able to get the shot off now as we're gonna have another whistle. Not sure what the call is. Does that one miss me? So face off's gonna stay inside the Armada zone just to the right of Stewart here. Gonna be won by the Highlanders. Back to the left point. McNeil shot there. That was tipped. Goes off the glass. And now the Armada back the other way. O'Leary able to get through some traffic. He's still with it there. He takes a couple bumps. Now he's on the ground. And McDonald went for the huge hit. But a two on two back the other way. Blake Landry leaves it there for Broussard. Broussard had to slow up. Now in to help out. His number 88, Jaden Cameron. He's gonna fire that on net. Down to Stewart, and he'll hang on. So the faceoff's gonna stay down in the Armada zone. Now it's won by the Highlanders. Dragged back to the line, into the middle. Work down low. Trying to get the cycle game going now for the Highlanders. And now back the other way with some speed. Down the right side, looking for his option there was Conlon, he stops up. Back to McDougal, shot there through a crowd, tipped in front, they score. Cowan on the redirection in front. And just like that, it's six to one Armada. So two quick goals to start the second period, and then one more here. And this is where you gotta stay in good habits here, folks. It's easy to get off the game plan when you get up by a couple, and on the reverse side of things, it's easier to get kind of out of whack when you're down by a few, but if you're the Highlanders here, there's still lots of hockey to be played. You just gotta continue on here. Keep continuing to put pucks to the net and getting traffic. Down the right side, Cowan, back door. Another shot there, attempt, that was blocked by McNeil. Now back to the point, another redirection in front and Doucette able to track that one. And he covers it up. Down the left side with a step. 
Shot there and another save by Stewart with the gloves. He flashes the leather. So the faceoff will stay. Inside the Armada zone here. So another offensive zone faceoff for the Cabot Highlanders. Back to the point. One once again. The Highlanders dominating in the faceoff circle here so far. As back the other way goes Boudreaux. Boudreaux looking for his option. Tries to chip that through the middle. They're offside. Now they're tagged up. Good heads up at the line there as they didn't touch that up. Now back chipped out into the neutral zone up and over everybody. Back down the ice it goes and that's going to be an icing charge to the Armada. So back down inside their zone on the defensive side. 13-47 left to go in the second period. Couple more games on tap. The High Button crew is in West Hans, Brooklyn, Trenton, and the Hector Arenas in Picto, as well as up in Aniganish right now. And obviously we are here. And then after this, we have a couple more games. The Wolverines and the Nova's playoff game at the Civic at 7 o'clock, as well as the Harbor Rage versus the Gulls at Cole Harbor Place later on tonight. So lots of hockey action across our channels here, and that is how we like it, folks. It is playoff time for all these teams, and it's the reason you play the entire season other than development. Now as a shot there is blocked. McPhee, McDougal picks up his own rebound. Tries to center it, poked off his stick. Kemp on that loose puck. He's going to go back up to the point for Turple, who's taking the spot of McDougal. Now McDougal will get that return pass. Walks the line there, shot there. That goes through and up. And off the glass, looked like it was going to hit the mesh there for a second as everyone kind of froze up. It's Kemp's up ended into the wall. Puck gets freed here by the Hollanders as they'll swoop back inside their own zone. Dangerous pass through the feet of Connors. Bowie. Chipped that. Now Kemp down to Turple. Turple, left side goes back in the middle. Kemp picked it up off the back foot. Nifty little play there is Turple. Good puck movement here from the Armada. There's a shot. Kemp blocked that. He took a high stick, then a knee. Shot there. That goes wide. Now Turple. Is going to get a blocker in front by Doucette, and already one goalie down. Be tough to lose another. So they're going to work it in. Good sustained pressure here by the Armadas. They've been in the zone here for a good minute, unable to clear the zone. Now it's another shot, cross ice. Cross ice dump in. Boudreaux run into the wall there as the puck comes out to the blue line. Bowie tries to get it out. He will. Now as it goes through the middle, King away, one-on-one. -on -one. He's got a back checker. King cuts to the left side just inside the blue line, tries to fire it at the net. It goes through the crease but wide. Now it's pushed through the middle. McCallum Stokes able to pick that up on his skates, looking for Brill. Brill in on the forecheck. He gets in on McNeil. So he wins that battle. Pushed inside. The Highlanders, good hit there. McCallum Stokes doing it at all facets of the ice. Someone's phone on the end of the glass there took a spill down on the... Mezzanine, as Brill walks out from behind the net. He's gonna stop up now. He tried to pick it up on his side, looking for the Mishy, as the kids call it now, as McDougal will get a piece of that. Up, off, and into the netting, so the play whistle dead. Faceoff will come outside the Highlander zone as the puck was stuck, or sorry, shot from inside the zone, but was tipped up into the netting, so outside the blue line we go. No need to really explain the rules here. Damchik on the faceoff as the Highlanders win another faceoff and having a hard time with it was McNeil. Damchik came in to get that loose puck, but he wasn't able to find it. Now is Brill. He'll pull it back to himself. He takes a bump pass out front there. Shot do set. Nice reactionary save there as he flashed the leather. Wasn't able to corral it, so the puck does come loose. Back to the point and all the way in on Doucette, and he is going to freeze it once again as Brill comes in late. Landry will whack him and some more rough stuff after the whistle and you can just see the temperature meter rising here for the Highlanders players here, folks. As they trail by five and also down in the series. Just got to keep your cool out there and continue on with the process. Easy for me to say up here in the booth, though. The outside looking in for the most part now is that faceoff won by the Armada. Loose puck in front. Shot there. Backhand. Top corner. O'Leary. 7-1 Armada. As he was in tight, didn't have a whole lot of space and was able to get it upstairs as he gets the Armada up by six now. So this one 
Well out of reach here, but with that being said, folks, lots of hockey to be played as we're gonna have a goaltender switch now, and it looks like the emergency backup is gonna make his way in, number 30. I'll try and find the name for you here. Do the best that I can, as he was recently inserted into the lineup, but now probably unexpected, or not expected to play, and now all of a sudden he's in the mix. Back down in the Armada zone. Picked up behind the net, good outlet pass there up to the left side. Walk through the middle, outlet pass there. Pitcher had that poked off his stick and back the other way goes Landry, but he had it poked off his stick as well. So no information on the AP goalie as a breakaway there was stopped. It's a good play. Uh, the Armada to get free was McDonald. Now a uh, opportunity back the other way as Cameron tried to go coast to coast. He's running into the wall there by Link. Down in to help out is Landry. Spun off a check. Back down low, Landry. Reverses it back the other way and it's stripped now as back go the Armada. They're gonna head north now up ice in over the line. McDonald stops up. Looks for his options, tries to center it at the net. It does get through, his pitcher was right there on the doorstep, but he wasn't able to find the puck as he was tied up. And now the body's flying down there in the corner, unintentional there as McNeil looked like he was just gonna ask if pitcher was okay. So, not sure exactly what was said, but it didn't look that like an angry opera or an angry scenario. And now Cowan, he's gonna make his way up ice. Cowan drops it there. Opportunity to shoot there and a save by the newly entered goaltender who is nameless right now. So if you do know who it is, hit us up in the comments. So I wasn't even able to find it on the league roster. So like I said, if you're aware of who it is, let us know. We'd love to give the young man the recognition. Now Oliver chips it up the wall, McDougal, he'll take a bump there as he gets it on the net. Now he's gonna have a couple words. Try and suck the Highlanders guy into something as linesmen earning their paycheck here today as they are hot on the scene for anything that goes on. And you know, as an official myself, they do make you aware of the scenario in the game prior, just so you can understand what's going on now. As that shot from McDougal goes well wide. Back to the point, shot there, redirected into the corner and wide. Back out, the Highlanders looking to get broken out. It's gonna be picked up here. Number 71, Landon Webb, he's gonna get the line and get it in deep, as that's gonna be rimmed all the way around the other side. Conlon looking for his four checker as Webb runs into him. Or sorry, that was Landry. Now an opportunity, back down low, trying to center, they do, it goes through the crease, Stewart was right on it. Now another opportunity, good rebound control by Payson Stewart as he redirects that one. Up and over, and something about that last name, Stewart, in the goaltending department, folks, and I th immediately think of Brian Stewart, and if you don't know who that is or don't recognize the name, it might be time to give it an old search there. These Stewart goaltenders holding their own. A good up pushback here from the Highlanders as they trail by six, but they're just continuing on here. McDougal walking over the line, tries to use the D-man as a screen there, shot on net, rebound goes right back to him. McDougal walks around, looking for his options up top. That's gonna come all the way outside there as Cowan was slotted back to help McDougal out. Now as Cowan ran out of options, so he's gonna get the puck, get it in deep. And he'll head for a change, so the Highlanders will have an extra split second to get broken out. Now as Gillis, the top scorer for the Highlanders in the regular season, is gonna get that in deep, rimmed around. As the man is pushed into the wall there, just in that weird spot on our screen. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Now cross ice pass right onto the tape. Cut back the other way, now through the middle. Good support there from Boudreaux. Couple layers there for the Armada as Landry intercepts that pass. He got ready for the hit from Kemp, but the hit didn't come. So now the puck's gonna get in deep. Boudreaux gonna get in on the chase. Bowie rimmed it around the other side. McNeil got in Turple's way, but it's gonna come back to Link. Link with a real soft pass and then blows a tire. So the puck's gonna go outside the zone. Couple chuckles from the crowd up here. And Back through the middle, good tape to tape pass there. Boudreaux through the middle of the ice and that's gonna be called on the offside. So 
So face off a comeback outside in the neutral zone. 7-18 left to go here in the second period. 35-17, the shots in favor of the Armada. It's an absolute onslaught of offense here from the Basin Armada. Like I said, the number one seed is they Moncton Thunderbirds kind of held that position for most of the season, as well as a couple of the PEI teams, but the Armada, the pretty good season, a couple tournament wins, and they really got hot at the right time, and it looks like they're continuing on with that, as that's going to be dumped in by Bowie. Cross-corner dump shot there off the end wall was McPhee, and that puck will find the stick of the Armada out of the neutral zone. Nolan McNeil. Runs into his man, they get tangled up. Puck will go back down inside. That was McCallum Stokes, a first team All-Star here for the Armada. He's pushed back the other way. And now back the Armada go. They're gonna head north here and transition in over the blue line. McCallum Stokes and over the line, cuts back to the middle. He's got four white jerseys that pounced on him right away. As him and Landry get tangled up down there as he'll get back to his feet. Back out into the neutral zone, trying to be an option here as King will get on that loose puck for the Highlanders, but he had it poked off his stick. Now as Brill will pick it up, he cuts back to the middle. Brill turns on the afterburners, tries to go right down Broadway and gets upended there. No call on the play, a shot there and off the crossbar. It looked like now Brill is going to pick it back up. Nice toe drag there as he got through but forgot to take the puck. Jack Thompson now with it behind the net, looking for his options, head up the whole way, centers it back out, Brill. Shot there, he scores. Chris Brill, second of the game, 8-1 Armada. And another shot through a crowd that finds its way into the back of the net. And this game is getting more and more out of reach as we speak. Nothing the coach McLean can really do but look on. Not a whole lot of changing of body language down there on the Armada side as there's strictly business down there. The Armada, one of our very first teams to believe in our product, so original six, if you will. Now over the line is O'Leary. O'Leary walks in, he shoots, tip there, and good reaction save from the goaltender, number 30. Nice, he'll glove that down. And a tough task to come in down six as he's just been in and working on his angles there as he continues to get the work in in between the whistles. And like I said, if you know who it is, let us know in the comments and we'll make sure to get the name correct. There's a shot from the point. His tip now, pitcher will rim that around the other side. So Leary, McDonald, had that poked off his stick. O'Leary now. He's gonna take a bump there on the wall, but the puck goes out to the left point. Leslie will walk right in, back door, pitcher, opportunity. Looking for his options, back door pass, O'Leary went down to one, one knee, Brett Hall style. Was able to get a piece of it, but fanned on it now as he's dumped. Play continues, cycled down low, looking for McDonald. Pitcher had that puck poked off his stick. Now McGilvery jumps up into the play and he'll take his man out along the way as the Armada are gonna get the red line, in over the blue line now. Leslie gets it in deep, dodges a hit. As McDonald and away from him now as O'Leary gets tangled up down there and the Highlanders are going to flip that puck up to the blue line, not out. It's Leslie able to hold the line. All three Highlanders forwards fl fleeing the zone, so the puck will go down onto the goaltender. Another save there, and it's covered up. 4.38 left to go here in the second period. 8-1 to one lead here for the Armada. Not your standard playoff score as game one of this finished 3-1, but a uh, little birdie told me that the Highlanders goaltender who was now suspended stood on his head. It was a 58 save performance in a losing effort, so still a one hell of a game. If you ask me, is Cowan's gonna get that return pass. He's gonna work up top, shot there from Link. Tipped, hits a couple bodies in front, and the rebound comes loose. Conlon wasn't able to corral it now as Broussard with a good head of steam. He's gonna head the other way, but the puck rolls off his stick, so it goes back just inside the blue line, and one linesman called it offside, the other one waved it off, a little miscommunication, and it will eventually be blown dead on the offside call.
So the faceoff will come just outside the Armada blue line here. 39-17, the shots in favor of the base and Armada. Chipped through, it's been all Armada here in the second period, but Highlanders, every time the Armada score, they go back with a pushback shift, but just aren't able to beat the goaltender, Stewart, and it's a tough task, especially down by seven, and you, you know, as a shooter, and you get these good quality chances, and you aren't able to beat the goaltender, the confidence just gets shot. Speaking from experience, of course, not actually out there. It's Conlon now is going to pick that puck up on the right side wall through the middle now, looking for Cowan. Gets pushed off his stick. Now Link jumps into the play. Good, good heads up there at the line as he knew he was offside. So he was able to jump back onside. Now it's turned over. Pryor down the left side. He's just going to shoot that in a stick save there by the goaltender for the Highlanders as the rebound is pushed free up to the point. Right side, Link with it. He goes back the other way for Cowan. Good support there. Cowan looking for his options. He'll swing it back for McDougal. McDougal's just going to fire towards the net, but it didn't have enough to get there as it was blocked along the way. Now it's Broussard. Picks it up, Landry leaves it there for Broussard. Broussard gonna have a step there on McDougal as he got caught up. Two on one for man and McDougal uses that long reach of his as he's able to steal that puck back. Now back in over the line. He's gonna turn, now he's just gonna dump it in. He didn't have the lane to the net so he elects to get it deep. Good safe play there. Turple with it off the half wall. Back up to the point for McDougal. Looking for a lane to the net, he'll find one now. Shot, hit Connors in the bottom. And now Broussard just trying to get that puck away from his net. As he runs into Turple, he went for the reverse hit there. Now Oliver with it for the Highlanders out of his own zone. He's being pressed from both sides, so he had to chip it and go. It's going to be picked up by Thompson. Thompson will just chip that up and over everybody, approaching the two-minute mark here in the second period. It's Thompson with it. Double spin move as he gets away from the forechecker. Now he's going to stop up behind the net. Great outlet pass there. You know what they say, you can't give a bad or a good player, a bad pass, as he was able to corral that one from the feet. Now working up through the middle of the ice. It's in over the line. Thompson over for Turple. McNeil now chips it off the wall. Held in at the line by Link. Gillis went for the hit, but the puck was gone, so he had to ease off. Now it's just going to be dumped back in for Thompson here. A minute 45 left to go in the second period here. Held in once again, Kemp able to hold his own. Boudreaux down low, tries to go back out front for Turple, but that's turned over. Turple chips it to himself, but it's turned over once again now as McDonald. He's gonna get that off the wall and out through the neutral zone. And picked up. Back the other way come the Armada. Over the line, Kemp just gonna try and bust wide now as he's cross-checked down there. And that one's stung a little bit as he holds his back, but he's back to his feet, no problem. Last minute to play here, Link walks in. He, just as he went to shoot, he got a whack on the stick there, so good defensive play. Now as Boudreaux tries to contain McNeil there as McCallum Stokes came in for a hit and both bodies stay upright. Now as McCallum Stokes goes for another one, McNeil gonna push Boudreaux into the wall. Boudreaux tried to sell it a little bit. Now McCallum Stokes, oh, and he's gonna be upended. And we are gonna have some rough stuff here, folks, as Gillis is definitely gonna be penalized here. As he drilled McCallum Stokes in the numbers. And the fans alive and well now. McCallum Stokes. Just on his knees there. He's back up under his own power and a little bit from Brill. As Gillis is gonna get the boot here. So we'll see what actually comes of this. But it's a checking from behind penalty regardless. So that'll do it for Gillis for this game. We'll wait to see what the official call is. As that was just McCallum Stokes stirring the pot down there. He threw a couple hits and the last one they took exception to and buried him in the numbers into the boards and in any league, in any part of the world, that's gonna be called, folks. He's got some pretty experienced referees out here on the ice. So it's a five minute penalty to Gillis. So five minutes for checking from behind and a game misconduct. 
So if they're able to get through to tomorrow, that will be a suspension, I am sure. As not even myself have gotten one of those suspensions. I've been suspended in other ways in my career, but maybe I just wasn't in on the play enough to get a Chucky from behind penalty, I guess. It's all in good, good time. So that's it, five minutes, 33.7 seconds left on the game clock here in the second period. And McDougal's just gonna get that deep. It'll be rimmed around all the way to the other side. McDonald, gonna hold the line. Kemp, back up top for Simonson. Simonson, shot there, tipped in front, and up and out of play off the stick of Carson McDonald. So 20.3 seconds left to go here. Faceoff will come outside now. Dump back inside the Highlander zone. 15 seconds. Rover is able to get it up and over. Stewart will come out to play it. Had McPhee on him. Good bank pass there for Kemp. And five seconds left to go here as McDonald just tries to get it. The Armada are just going to hang on. And that is going to do it here for 40 minutes. So after two complete periods of play, the Basin Armada eight, the Cabot Highlanders one. We'll head to the intermission. The Armada will start the third period with a four minute and 27 second power play. So we're gonna take a quick break. We'll head to the intermission. We'll be back with third period when we return.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Third period, final 20 on the board. An eight to one lead here for the Armada. And game number two here of the NSU 16 playoffs. Looking for a series win here of the Armada and they are in good shape as of this exact moment. And they'll start this period with a four minute power play. So just gotta stay in good habits here and if things are gonna start to get out of hand, the Armada are gonna have to be smart and I'm sure that was the message from the coaches in the dressing room at the intermission is if they wanna run around, you let them because we have a lot more hockey to play here. But we hope that's not the case here as the Highlanders just uh, finished the second period there pretty hard and they just continued on with their game plan. Things got a little bit out of hand there for a moment but that's just hockey. Now is Simonson, or sorry, yeah, Simonson shot there, nice save. The puck is cleared into the right corner. Up to the right point. Shot there through a crowd. That gets stopped. McDougal now backhands it in behind the net. Kemp with it. As Cameron made or took a run at him. Now around the other side. Pryor, he's going to have a lane right to the middle. Shot there. Nice save as the rebound is knocked free. McDougal in behind the net now for McDonald. McDonald to Kemp. Kemp gets leaned on there by Cameron. Good job there as he stayed low. For a good center of gravity there as he's gonna come away with that puck across the top of the circle. Fires it at the net, that's tipped. And up and off the glass. Good heads up there by the official as he got out of the way there and switched corners. Back the other way, it was a pass. McDougal slots down from the point. So they're gonna play the diamond, the Armada. So just one player up in the middle at the top. Kemp walks around. He's going to look for his lane there. Shot, and actually it was a shot pass. And back down to the right side. Now is Simonson down low, looking for the backdoor pass. Centered it through the crease. 225 left to go in the man advantage. Back up top to Simonson. Shot there through a crowd. Rebound comes free, and they score. And the penalty will stay intact. As Doucette's just making his way onto the ice now. And that's going to be 9-1 Armada. So the penalty will just go down to two minutes. And they'll continue on the man advantage here. And this one, pretty out of reach now. If it wasn't already. So now it's going to be chipped down inside the zone. Brill will give a chase there as he goes for the stick check. Now it's going to be turned over once again. It's Thompson into the middle of the ice. Shot there and smothered up by the goaltender here. 17:40 left. On the, or in the third period, and I was actually mistaken, folks, a major penalty, so a five minute major penalty will just tick down the entire way. So there's still 2.07 left on the man advantage. As now it's gonna be dumped the length of the ice. Back inside the zone, they're just gonna try and get set up. Conlon took a high hit. Play continues, roomed around the other side. Centered into the middle. Back up top, Thompson, middle of the blue line. A little slot pass there for O'Leary. He shot one and that goes wide to the blocker side. So they're gonna work it off the half wall into the middle, O'Leary goes back door for Brill. Brill fires and an absolute laser off the crossbar as he got absolutely all of that one. And the puck's gonna stay inside the zone, so still a minute 15 left to go in this man advantage. Play is gonna stay in the zone. Brill looking for that backdoor pass. Now gets it into his feet, and now it's gonna be covered up, and he will just get right out of there as now he'll take a late shot. So Brill did the right thing there, just got out of dodge when the whistle went. Like I said, if you're a team that's moving on, and it's easy to get caught up in all the mix. And I do believe the Armada have already solidified a position into the Provincials next weekend, which we will be covering at the Sackville Arena, the U16 AAA Provincial Championship. Back into the middle, now Brill a shot there, and off his off foot, or his weak side foot, and he's still got a ton of it. That tells you how hard he can shoot. Now Brill with a pass from O'Leary, he's gonna walk in, tries to go five hole, rebound comes loose, another shot there, a shooting gallery here for the Armada as Conlon goes up off the glass, O'Leary takes a bump in the corner, puck comes free, McCallum Stokes winds up, takes a slap shot, it was blocked there and then goes out of play. 
A good pressure here. Eight goal lead for the Armada here in the third period and you gotta be feeling pretty good about that one. They both, or the Armada will head for a full sail change here. So the faceoff's gonna stay inside the Highlander zone. The Highlanders fans trying to wear their away jerseys or their home jerseys to spark something here for their team, but not going the greatest right now. Now Kemp's gonna pick it up. He's just gonna walk right into the slot there, shot right off the forehead. Doesn't matter how you save, it just matters that you do. So now it's chipped outside the zone. That was trying to go back to the D-man. But it exits the zone now, Leslie being pressed there through the middle. Good job to force him to the wherever you want it to go for McDonald, but Leslie's able to escape everybody now as he's just gonna drop that back to the point. And that's gonna come outside the zone now as Link takes a bump after the whistle, but it was a bang bang play, so no malicious intent there in my opinion. Faceoff's gonna come back outside the zone now, 15-34. Left to go in the third period and just one second left on that five minute penalty. As McNeil is up, hand on the gate, and he's ready to re-enter here. As you see there, your face off. The linesman's gonna ask the winger, the sole winger, to stay back. Now the puck is just gonna be pushed to Boudreaux. He's just gonna fire it at the net. We're back to even strength here. Two power play goals on that five minute major. So now we're back to five on five here. So we'll see the Highlanders can get anything going offensively. It's a good outlet pass there, right onto the tape, down the right side. Just gonna fire that in deep, it'll bounce off the back of the net. Broussard in on the four check, he'll stick lift Link. Now Landry in there to help out, Broussard as well. Link has him pinned up against the wall. Broussard, Kemp takes care of him. As the puck stays low, good battle down there. Landry just pushing right through. He's gonna try and take it right to the net there. Shot from a bad angle, hits the side of the net and goes wide. Now is Broussard. Being pressed there from Link, tries to make a move, but it's gonna be picked up by Boudreaux. Boudreaux will find Turple down the right side. He had a hard time handling that pass, so it's up and out of play into the Highlanders bench and play whistle dead. Fourteen forty-five left to go here. The Kings took down the V's and ended their season last night with a convincing eight to three victory and the Armada looking to do the same today. Game three slated for tomorrow, if necessary. Just back the other way goes the Highlanders. They're gonna fire that in on the goaltender, Stewart. Stewart will cover it up and hang on, so the faceoff will stay inside the Armada zone, and we are once again dealing with some connectivity issues here in this tin can of an arena. But we're doing our best here to keep it up and running. When you're in the internet business, folks, you just never know what's gonna happen. As much preparation as you can do, sometimes isn't enough. So McCallum Stokes back the other way, good head of steam there, and he's gonna be tripped up. And there's gonna be a penalty here. So the Highlanders are gonna go back to the penalty kill as they touch up. It's gonna be a tripping call as McCallum Stokes had a good head of steam as he had a step on the defender. He gets the stick out and steps on the stick, it looked like, but a stick in the feet. And if the player falls, nine times out of 10 is gonna be called as a penalty, pretty easy one to make as you get the wafting smell of rink fries down up here in the booth. And I have a look down there at the crowd and there's four gentlemen down there sharing lunch. So if you're listening down there, I could use a fry myself. It's Conlin, tries to center that pass. He tried to force it, so it's blocked. But he's gonna pick up his own Second opportunity here, tries to go back door for Brill. Brill, skate to stick. Looking around, looking for his options. He's gonna keep that puck on the outside of his body. Back to Thompson, Thompson will bank it back down for Brill. Brill, skate to stick once again. He's gonna walk towards the net, spins back the other way. Back up top to the right side for Thompson. Thompson, fakes to the right, goes back to the middle, tries to go back into the middle for O'Leary. Now back up to the point. Now uh, Thompson again, looking for that backdoor kind of shot pass, if you will, looking for the redirection at the side. Brill will fire it back up to the right side, under a minute to go in the man advantage. Back down low, cut back the other way. 
Push there, Brill, nice move there as he got around the man King. Now he's still with it, tries to go back through the feet again. Now he'll fire it on the net and that's gonna be saved and covered. So 12.59 left to go here. Now face off one, good one touch pass there. Simonson will fire it down low for McDougal. McDougal looking for his options, fires that. It was tipped in front, but it was tipped wide. Pitcher got a stick on that, so now Turple. He'll take a bump down there. Puck comes free. Now it's going to be pinned up into the feet there of McNeil. He's just going to hang on to it. 25 seconds left to go in the man advantage. And still with it down there, and he's... Doing one heck of a job of killing the rest of this penalty here as we're down to the last 10 seconds. Serple takes a bump once again. Good job by Simonson to hold the zone there. Or a shot there that was through a crowd that the goaltender didn't see to the very last second as he was able to get his right pad out in time. Stewart's going to let his team know that we're back to even strength here. 53-20, the shots on goal here in favor of the Armada. Two games worth here for this team. And 20 shots is... No slouch of a number in a regular scenario. Now as Cowan turns it over, he tries to make a shot there and he gets dumped by McNeil. is having himself quite the shift here for the Highlanders. The play will stay inside the Highlander zone as McDougal fires that towards the net. It goes wide. Good job there. Simonson takes a bump at the bench. Cowan ran a little bit of a pick there for him as he was able to find the time to get the puck back inside the zone. Pass out front. Cowan tipped and that goes wide. In behind the net into the crease now is the goaltender squirming down there as there was a scrum in front. Simonson able to hold the zone and he'll get the puck back down in deep. Now push through the middle. Webb looking to get that puck poked free, but it's turned over here as Simonson's gonna head the other way, and now Webb upends his man, Turple, on the way to the bench. It's another opportunity on the power play coming here for the Armada. So a roughing penalty to Webb. And the Armada back to the man advantage with an opportunity to make it double digits here. Two minutes up on the penalty clock. 11.15 left to go. Here in the third period as that faceoff's won cleanly by Brill. And good thing Link had his stick on the ice or that one would have been a dump for the other team. But now Brill will pick it up in the corner. He's gonna go back up top to the point for Leslie. Leslie walks the line, being pressed there. Back down low for Link. Link pulls it to the middle. Now an opportunity, tries to go back into the slot area there. His damn chicks in front. And Callum Stokes tries to fire that on net. That was blocked. Good block there by number 27, Aiden Bowie. Now as they're going to go back down for Brill. Brill looking for his options. Nice hard pass for Link. Link shot there. Save made. Rebounds loose. They fight for it. Still whacking at it now as Brill had that one bounce over his stick. Goalie regains his paddle now as shot there is blocked once again up top. So the Highlanders still continuing to sacrifice the body here. Love to see it. As Brill is going to walk out of the corner. Brill there, the old pull and drag and shoot, or toe drag release as the kids call it. And now it's gonna be smothered up here. 10-19 left to go, almost halfway through the third. Nine to one lead, and a minute four left to go in the power play. So thank you guys for tuning in here for this one amongst the chaos on the stream so far. But we are here and we are live. Back up to the point for Thompson. Thompson slides it back over for Pitcher. Pitcher had a hard time with it, but he regains possession. Back down into the corner, up top. Partner pass. McDougal blew a tire. He ends up getting the puck down in deep. 35 seconds left to go here in the man advantage. Pushed back up top. Thompson's gonna walk into the middle of the ice. Backdoor pass. Shot there, that's gonna go wide and that's gonna exit the zone. As now Thompson back forward here for the Armada. A little chip pass back the other way for O'Leary. O'Leary 
Gonna make his way through the neutral zone in over the blue line. Good job by McDonald to stay on side there, so he'll drop it back. McDougal fires it towards the net, picked off in front, hand to stick. Looking for the rebound, and they'll find it and score. So Car Carson McDonald, the late power play goal, and just like that, it's 10 to one Armada. So on their 60th shot of the game, they connect once more, 10 to one here, nine goal lead. And you gotta think folks, as much as I am a optimist, even myself, not liking the chances here for the Highlanders. Hollanders just trying to get out of their zone here. Now they will, up over through the neutral zone. Down on Simonson, tries to make a move there was Cameron. Simonson kind of lost his footing there for a second and King had to duck out of the way there as that puck would have hit him and it would have been offside. So link back for here for the Armada. Just inside the 10 minute mark now. Cross ice pass, Kemp to Turple. Turple tries to fire that back for Kemp. Now it's gonna come free there. Oh, what a save from the Highlanders netminder as he pushed right to left. And it's too bad that it wasn't more of a crucial moment for that save, but regardless, a fantastic display of goaltending there from the affiliate goaltender here for the Highlanders. And now, if my memory strikes me correctly, at one point this year, the Kings had a game and they needed a goaltender. So they used one of the Highlanders Affiliates that was in town, I suppose. Now as King fires out on nets, poked off into the corner. Broussard takes a bump there from Link. Cameron now down low, looking for options. Simonson gonna fire that cross ice. It's gonna go all the way off the wall. And into the middle of the ice and down into the corner. They're working up through the middle of the ice. Good moves there is Nolan McNeil and he's still with it, but now he turns it over. Kemp fires it through for Turple. It's going to go off his skates and in deep. Broussard back for it. He's got Turple on him. Just under eight minutes to go here in the third. Looking to get broken out now is the Highlanders. Link will walk it through over to the left side. So into the middle of the ice. Kemp with it. So the Armada playing without defenseman Trent Peverell, who had the pleasure of coaching in the U13 AAA League a few years back, he is out with a suspension, so he's the other suspended player out of this first game melee. So with any luck, he'll be back just after Provincial, or just during Provincials now, as Broussard is gonna be tripped up, and the Highlanders are gonna go to the power play here. Has a good head of steam there from Broussard. He draws a penalty, and to the man advantage, we go here for the Highlanders, trying to Get themselves back within a little bit of reach here. But lots of pride on the line anyways. That's what the coaches used to say when I was a kid. At this point, just play the game hard. and Eventually it'll come back. The hockey gods will get you back at some point, good or bad. That's one thing I have definitely learned over the years. It's much harder to see as a 15 and 16 year old though, however, which I do understand. So I'm a few years past that, not many, just 16. The so Hollanders are gonna look to get broken out now as Broussard's just gonna carry it all the way up the ice, down over the left side. Looking back, he'll cut back. Good job to draw all the defenders down low and force a pass through the middle there, it hits the skates. And now they're gonna try and wrap it around, but puck rolls off the stick. I'm sorry about the glitching there, folks, but that's what happens when the internet gets unplugged. Cameron now, down low, looking for his options, but he's being pressed there. Good tight box there, and Stewart didn't have an option but to take it right off the dome, and he headbutted that one like a soccer player, and that one goes free is the only thing other than that stinging a little bit would be that nice helmet getting chipped down there. Up the other way go the Highlanders. 45 seconds left to go in the man advance. Thompson will run his man into the wall. Cameron just continues on. Now he's just gonna pinball his way down there in the corner as Damchick got a bump. Cameron now, shot there. 
Blocked by their own guy, turned around, shot, that was blocked. That's Cowan with it. He's gonna dump it out, and Cameron with his fourth or fifth hit there, he fed four or five right in that one sequence. Now he's gonna get that return pass. He wanted that right away with the beaver tap. Now a shot there, block it away by Stewart, and kind of lost it for a sec, but he finds it. Now it's gonna be chipped down the ice, and that's not gonna be icing as they're icing waved off. They're killing here. So five seconds left to go on the man advantage. 5.23 left to go here in the third. The U13 AAA Provincials is just about to start up here in about 45 minutes. It's the East Hans Penguins, the team I used to coach, and the Bedford Blues will face off in game three. Winner moves on. It's now Boudreaux, he's gonna take a bump there and he's gonna try and draw a penalty there as he stayed on the ground there for a sec, but he looks to be okay. Now Pryor tries to make a one-handed move, but it was picked off. Now in over the line he goes. Pryor, nice dangle there as he gets free, and they just got enough there as the puck rolled away from him, and underneath the five-minute mark to go. See Highlanders looking to get broken out. Boudreaux went in, went to throw a hit there, and wasn't able to get his man. So the puck's gonna be pushed down inside the Armada zone. Simonson back for it here for the Armada. He's gonna hit the brakes, go back the other way against pressure. Chip pass up the ice, Pryor off to the races. He's got Conlon back door. Pryor out front there, he got it to Conlon, but he had drifted too far to the right side, so the puck ends up going into the corner. Shot there from the point, Cowan. Now it goes wide. Back now, shot there through a crowd, that goes wide as well. Now it's gonna come outside the blue line. Cowan will be back here for it for the Armada. Partner pass over. Leslie down over the left side. He's gonna drag it to the middle and had that poked off his stick at the last second. So they're gonna go up off the glass and not out. And now it will come out here, albeit momentarily, as it's chipped back down inside the Highlander zone as they're gonna fire that up ice. Beautiful saucer pass there from the defender. It goes back up now, an outlet pass there for Webb. Webb in over the blue line now on the left side. He's gonna fire it into the middle. So he ran out of real estate there. McDonald had that puck poked off his stick. And now cross ice, Conlon will be able to get a stick on it, so that'll get the icing. He's able to get the puck, McDeep it. Now over the line, good job there as the linesman got out of the way at the last second. Reverse back the other way, Thompson takes a hit. Now we're really dealing with some connectivity issues here. So we're down to the last three minutes, so just bear with us here, folks, but now it's gonna be whistled on the offside. The face-off's gonna come back outside the zone. So 10 to one lead here. Armada just trying to get to the end of this one as well as the Highlanders, I'm sure. This is gonna be sent the length of the ice and that's gonna be icing here against Cabot, so they'll be charged with that and they're gonna head back down inside their own zone here. So the linesman will follow the Cabot player all the way up the ice and having flashbacks from my career here, folks, for that one. But when I played, they only had the one referee, so you got away with a lot more and they've started Incorporate the two-man system long ago. So not a whole lot of that stuff gets missed now. It's passed out front here, looking for another opportunity late. Now, pushed back around. Wheeled in behind. Damchik will get it low, down low for McCallum Stokes for Brill. Back out front there, Damchik got a piece of it, but wasn't able to find the back of the net. So now we're gonna have some Whacking behind the play. Just dumped in. Webb looking, turns it over, turns and fires. That was blocked by Thompson. Brill with it now. He's gonna head up ice. Gonna go cross ice for McCallum Stokes. McCallum Stokes down the right side to the back end. Shot there and he's pushed into the end wall. Puck comes free, so approaching the last minute to play here. We're gonna work it around. McCallum Stokes goes back door looking for Thompson just out of his reach. And now we're gonna have the play whistle dead. Looks like the net might be off the moorings. So 97 seconds left to go here in the third period. Like I said, if you're looking for some more action, you weren't content with this one. 
Wolverines and Novas will play at the Civic at 7 p.m. as well as the Gulls and the Sandy Harbor Rage in the U15 division as their playoffs get underway this weekend. So the lower seed will get the first home game with potential for their two home games for the home team and a little bit of a different scenario there as normally the higher seeded team gets the first two home games but nice little way to do it as each team will get a home game or a gate if you will. So we'll head right there after this one. Now down to 90 seconds. Chipped off the wall. And over the line, shot there was blocked Simonson. McPhee will rim it back the other way as he reverses play. Kemp, King in there to help out. This is where play gets dangerous when it gets pinned up against the wall there late in the game. A shot towards the neck, it's tipped. That goes off the wall. Link will battle his man. Him and King get tangled up. Just down in front of the booth here as they continue to whack at it. Back around the other side, Turple. Turple didn't have the lane on the wall, so he tried to go through the middle, but turned it over now as it's towards the net. Simonson got a stick on it. And it's now back. The other way go the Armada. Kemp there tried to go back to pitcher, but it's turned over. 45 seconds left to go here in the game. Turned over Simonson. Had that turned over as well, so that puck's going to get in deep here by Cabot. Stewart comes out to play it. He'll get another touch here. Link will rim it back against the green. Now as Turple got his stick caught up in the boards there on that door. Now Turple almost gets drilled with a hip check there, but King ends up hitting his own man, Cameron. Stewart gives him a little tap down to 20 seconds to go. Pitcher gets the return pass. Opportunity shot there. Nice save as the puck comes free. 14 seconds left. Up the ice they go. Now it's stripped there by Link, who is hard on the back check. Now is it's going to be chipped back going to the neutral zone. Seven seconds left to go. Kemp's going to retreat back to his own zone as he fires it back for Link. Three seconds left to go, and that's going to be dumped the length of the ice. And that is going to do it here, folks. The Basin Armada complete the sweep. Two to nothing in the series. They take this one 10 to 1 on RBC Pad A here. Final shots on goal, 63-23. So that'll do it here for our coverage. We appreciate you tuning in and sticking with us amongst everything that's happened. And... My name is Matt Dooley alongside Liam Cabin, and we are out of here. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.